This video will show you how to use this new nesting macro. So first of all, I have a simple file here, which has to set up in it. Let me start by doing 3D simulation to show you. So this first setup is pretty simple. When the second one is a bit more complex, it has a 3D machining toolpath in it. So let's run the 3D simulation. So this is the completed part. Um, now everything looks fine, but it will be a good idea to make sure that the vise is not going to collide with the tool during the, the machining operations. So let's come back with this setup and hit this button here, which is the import vise. So like you can see, we have different types of vise available. So a few Girardi, this Elma, a Kurt, few auto centering vice which are langs and jurgens in this case we also have different types of chucks with three or four jaws um, for the chucks we can select different types of jaws so we have soft jaws hard jaws that can be selected here so for this first setup i'll start with a simple gr device when we use a vice, we can select where the part is positioned in it. So we could say that we want to have it in the center of the vice, on the flush to the right side of it, flush to the left side. When we select flush, it could be a good idea to enter an offset of, let's say, minus one, which will move the part of one inch in the air to be able to cut the end of the part around here. So let me put back this to zero and center. Then we can select where we want to hold the part. So we could hold it on the stock, on solid faces as we have previously selected, surfaces or geometry. In this case, it's going to be a simple hold on the part. And I know I don't really need that, but I'll select parallel just for fun. So let's say 1.8 by 1.5 inch parallel and hit import. So the part has been automatically positioned into this vise. All I have to do left is to run the 3D simulation. As you can see, the vise is automatically shown into this 3D simulation to make sure there's no gouge. Now, if I activate the second setup, as you can see, the vise disappears. And if I reactive setup one, the vise reappears. So let me go back to setup one, which is the second one in this case, rerun this macro, and I'll simply select this surface before. And for the second setup, I'll use a three jaw chuck with the soft jaws. I'll be holding the solid faces, and I wanna make sure that the part is sticking out of 1.6 inch in the air from the top of the jaws and the chuck is going to be rotating around the z-axis. So let me simply click on import. The chuck is imported. So now all I need to do left is to run my first setup simulation, like so. And now if I select the second one, you'll see that the device is going to change for a chuck. Like so. So as you can see, we are holding the material correctly. And I can run the simulation. So that's pretty much how vice importation works with this macro.